What's up everyone, today's Monday, today's YouTube Live Day. So if you guys are just joining us for the first time, every single Monday at 11 a.m., I go on YouTube Live and I recap my trades of the day. The reason why I do this is because Mondays used to be my worst performing days and I wanted a way to keep myself accountable. So I started making these videos where I traded until 10.30 a.m. And then at 11 a.m. market time, I would come on here and recap the trade as it was still fresh in my head. So uh, one of the main things that people ask me is, is day trading a real career? Can you actually make money trading? Is this thing real? Is this thing legit? Um, so what I'm gonna be doing today for you guys, I'm gonna be showing you my broker statements for the year. I'm gonna be showing you how I'm doing so far on the year. And then I'm gonna talk about today's trades and today's watch list. So let's get started with that. Okay guys. Sorry, I'm just trying to set up the camera here real quick so you guys can see everything very clearly. So just give me one second. Okay. Okay, so flipping the camera around. All right, guys, so this is my broker statement for the year so far. It's not a screenshot. Uh, as you can see, you could highlight everything, you could click on everything. Um, so, so far on the year, this is being recorded on September 12th, 2022. I'm up $1.4 million in realized gains in a bear market. So the reason why this is so significant and this is so important is because most people have lost money in this bear market. Most people have gone broke in this bear market. But for me, this year on the worst possible year for day trading, I made about $1.4 million. It's not as much as I made last year. You know, last year I made a little bit over $3 million, but you know, last year's market was crazy. But if in the worst market in the last 20 years, I can make $1.4 million, I mean, that's still pretty freaking good. And as you can see, this is not a screenshot, okay? This is not a screenshot. This is all legit. I actually have to wire out of my account and reset it back to 50K, but I've had some really nice wins lately, so I've just been kind of keeping it in there. So. Yeah, that's pretty much my broker statement for the year so far. Again, September 12th. And the reason why I wanna show you this is twofold. Number one, to prove that this is real and this is possible. And number two is to show you, you know, how I'm able to get these profits and what, um, what my process is for these profits, right? So I wanna first talk about, you know, the hot stock of the day and I wanna bring up the watch list. So I'm gonna bring up the morning watch list right here. So watch list right here okay so let's review the watch list so ifbd 250 270 and three lines to scale in short so what i'm gonna be doing guys is i'm gonna pull up a chart right here for you so that you guys could follow along and see exactly exactly uh what i was doing so let me show you ifbd So every single morning before the market opens, I am providing a watch list. So the reason why I'm providing a watch list is because in this industry, there are so many frauds and so many scammers. What they do is they buy up a stock and then they're on a delay. And by the time you get that stock alert, that mentor, that guru is selling into you. So be very careful if you see people making money online. I made this money without pumping, without alerting, without emails, without signals, without anything. This is me pre-planning every single day and showing you that plan before market open. This plan was made at 9.13 a.m. So about 17 minutes before the market opened. I even had an earlier one around 8.05 a.m. and I adjusted it. So IFBD plan was a short, you know, 250, 270 and three. It only hit 250 and kind of failed. Uh, RGLS. You know, plan was a short 210, 220, 230. You know, we got exactly that and it failed. Um, DMS, nothing really happened. VT, YX, non-niche stock. So I am mostly a short seller. So if I'm avoiding a stock, it is usually a signal for it to keep going up. This stock went right up, right? INM, this was the hot stock of the day. I told everyone to avoid it. It went from 14 to 18. So I would have been dead if I shorted. And QH, Stock was 350 to 370, it hit 350 and failed. So this same watch list that I am using every single day is the same watch list that MIC members are using every single day to profit. I'm not telling you to buy and then uh, giving you a one minute delay until you actually buy. This is the same trades that I take, okay? So 
reason why I want to show you that is because today I had a small $100 profit. So imagine I made a mil $1.4 million and today I made a hundred bucks, right? And the reason why I want to show you the watch list is to show you that on a day like today, making a hundred bucks was actually the best possible trade I could have made because I and M went crazy. VKTX went crazy. So in hindsight, if I deviated from the plan, if I traded the stocks that I said to avoid, I would have been dead, right? So a lot of people ask me, how do you make this money? How do you do this? And like, what, is, what is that process like? And the thing that I want to highlight is a lot of people are losing money, man. A lot of people are losing money. And you know, a million, 1.4 million is life-changing money to a lot of people. But thank God, it's another day, uh, another year for me at the office. And the highlight of this is I kind of adapted the strategy at the start of the year. So what was working last year in 2021 and what was working the year before that in 2020 was not working this year. So instead of using the same size and the same strategy that I was, I was using two years ago, I sized down this year. I sized down this year so that I could be confident, I could be calm, and I could not have any issues. So my biggest, biggest trades of the year was Bed Bath & Beyond, made like a couple hundred thousand dollars in like a week span. And I even forget the other one, I think it was like TBLT or something. I don't, I don't really even remember because it's so long ago. Or it might have even been... Um, what was that oil stock? INDO. I think I made, I think it was this year that I made 700,000 on INDO. So on INDO, 700, half of my year's P&L, half was made on one day, right? One day. So that's INDO. Those opportunities don't come around very often. We had 10 of those opportunities last year, and now we have one of those opportunities. So point I'm trying to make here, guys, is that anyone could really do this anyone could really make money trading. The people that can't make money trading and the people that are struggling are either being too greedy, they're creating artificial price targets in their head, or they're not stopping out of stocks. How many times have you, you know, been in a stock where your max loss was supposed to be 200 bucks and all of a sudden it turned into $2,000 and then $5,000 and you told yourself, oh my God, if I just stuck to my stop in the first place, I'd have so much more money. The reason why most traders fail is because of a lack of stops and because of a lack of, you know, following their own rules. So at MIC, we kind of preach something called risk management. We were one of the first people to talk about risk management. One of my favorite quotes that I created is size into the best and scalp the rest. Okay. So a lot of people, they're seeing these crazy stocks they're seeing these crazy runners and they're like, how the hell are you supposed to trade it? The reality is a lot of these runners, you should be avoiding because there's not really much of an edge. So I know what my best pattern is. I know my best strategy. My best pattern is the first red day. I've been talking about it for years and finally people are starting to listen, but I know what my best pattern of the year is. So I religiously wait for that pattern to come up. And when that pattern comes up, I bulldoze in. If that pattern is not there, I do not use the same size that I use on that on a random stock. So for example, on Bed Bath & Beyond, I used 100,000 shares. On today, on what was that stock? On uh, RGLE or RGLS, I used 2,000 shares, right? I used 99% less size because it was 99% less of a great setup. So a lot of problems that people have is they use the same size on the same stock on the same, uh, same day, right? And what ends up happening is in trading, you're, you should be betting based on the opportunity, okay? So if you have a great opportunity in the market, you should be sizing up. That's the same analogy I've been given every single day, every single week, every single month for the past year, man. For the past year, I've been making these same exact videos, saying the same exact things, because I'm hoping that after one time that you listen, you finally understand is bet, bet on stocks with size, when the edge is in your favor. So find your best pattern. If you don't know what your best pattern is, then you have no reason to size up on it. I had a DM conversation with a member last week and he said, bro, I'm losing money. I don't know what's going on. Maybe trading isn't for me. I don't know what I should do. He's like, I sized up last week and it didn't really work out. I was like, why'd you size up? Was there a A plus setup that was you know in your wheelhouse? Nah, I just decided to size up that day, man. And I'm like, you dumb. Motherfucker, bro, it's like you're si you size up 
on a random day, you lose a shitload of money, and you're like, maybe trading isn't for me. Maybe you should listen to what we're saying. If we're telling you to size up on the best setups only, and you wake up on a random Monday morning, you're like, today's the day I'm gonna size. It's not how it should be. Your size is determined by the stock in play. So if there is no good stock in play, you don't just wake up and say, oh, I'm sizing up today. That's me. Today's the day I'm doing it. It's not how it works, okay? So that's number one. So my P&L for this year is based on the opportunity. Last year, there was 10 times more opportunity. So I was able to size in 10 times more. This year, there's 10 times less opportunity, so I'm able to size in 10 times less. And what I remind myself, guys, if I could make a million and a half dollars in the bear market when everyone's losing money, Imagine when the bull market comes back around. This market moves in cycles, man. We've been in a bull market for 10 years. We've been in a bear market for one year. Maybe we're gonna be in another bear market for another year. And then when that cycle changes, when the bull market comes back, that million and a half is gonna be five, six, seven, eight million, right? The process is the same. The strategy is the same. What changes is the bet size. So your bet size changes based on what market cycle you are in. Okay, so that's number one. Does that all make sense to you guys before I move on? And again, this is a live video, so try to take the comments from people. The next thing is, the next thing is I am in the process of recording more of my live trades. So my $145,000 day on Bed Bath & Beyond is recorded. I did about a 30 minute voiceover for that trade and I'm probably gonna make that available soon for you know lifetime members and maybe eventually free for everyone on YouTube but going forward in this bear market, maybe once a week, maybe twice a week, I'm gonna start recording my screens and providing and sharing with you my trades live. No pumps, no alerts, no anything, recorded trades. I'll do a voiceover over the trade um, and maybe actually, let me show you a sneak peek of it, right? Fuck it, while we're here, let me show you a sneak peek. Sorry, yeah, set up again. Uh, where's my commentary? Okay. Okay, guys, so this is my live trade. I'm just gonna kind of skip it in the middle somewhere. So you guys will see the actual live trade from beginning to end, uh, hopefully sometime soon. It takes literally, literally weeks to kind of do this voiceover stuff over it because I want to make sure that I'm providing the most amount of details for you. So this is kind of what we do here, man. We provide real trading education for people that are serious about trading. Uh, provide broker statements, we provide watch lists, we provide live trades, we provide pretty much everything. And you know, live trades are very hard because in the moment you wanna nail the trade, but my job as a mentor, my job as an educator is to make sure that you nail the trade. So I'm gonna try to do as many live trades as possible, but I wanna make my priority to be able to help you guys. So yeah, I mean, I want to kind of keep this video short and sweet to show you uh, what is possible in the market. Just because bear market, just because people are losing their but in this market doesn't mean that real professional traders are losing their butt. A million and a half dollars is a fucking sick amount of money, man. Sick amount of money. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you guys have any questions about trading, you guys are curious about trading, if you guys are non-MIC members, go to myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. You get to watch a free mentorship course. This is for non-members. Shows you a little bit of a sneak peek into our strategy, kind of helps you out. That folder all there is all my live trades. So I have this side of my computer, all of live trades. So hopefully I grow that collection a little bit more. But if you guys want, I could open it up to a brief two, three minute Q&A to answer your questions before I go back and help the members. Just looking around these crazy stocks. Any questions, guys? If you guys are enjoying these videos, please leave a like on the video. Please subscribe to the video. If you guys want to see more live trades from me, comment down below saying live trade so that I know you guys want to see that. And now let's get into the Q&A. How should a new trader approach a, sm a slow market or a slow day? 
the I kind of posted a video on this guys uh, earlier to MIC members, but the key on a slow day is to realize that you know being break even is also a win. Today, what was that stock? Um, I IHP was it? Uh, I can't see. I N M I N today I N M was a crazy runner, and today I N M in the watch list was in a void. So most people, most people lost on I N M because they ignored the watch list. So if you walk away break even on a slow day, it's usually a win because what people do is they trade random stocks so that they could make some money on the day, and that means that they're just gambling. Okay, so to profit or to win on slow days is to stop gambling, stop trading random stocks, and just walk away, okay? Just walk away. I made millions of dollars this year, and I made a 100 bucks. It's nothing, it's a rounding error, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna go back and help the members in the room. Um, so hopefully you guys learned a lot today. Leave a comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and Hopefully more live trades coming soon, man.